It's two historic programs. North Carolina, six NCAA titles, a record 20 Final Fours, and UCLA, 11 national championships, and decades of excellence. Tonight in Philly, they meet once again with a chance to go to the Elite Eight. From the East region, we have got Sweet 16 action tonight in Philly, PA. North Carolina and UCLA, the Tar Heels, the eight seed, the Bruins, the four seed, and the winner will play, yeah, St. Peter's, <laughs> the 15 seed advancing with another shocking win, this time over Purdue. Welcome, everybody. I am Eagle, Jim Spinarkle, Jamie Erdahl. Catch your breath. This is the second game of the nightcap here in Philadelphia, Jimmy. History between these two programs. Yep. And UCLA has got experience, Final Four experience in particular, but they've got one of their stars, not quite 100%. Jaime Jaquez is dealing with an ankle injury. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see because about the last six weeks or so, they've been running all the offense through him as their leader. When you look at the points scored, but more importantly, he gets the touches in the paint. He understands how to find guys on the floor and just terrific and really dictating the, the traffic. On the Carolina side, Brady Manick has really stepped it up in the NCAA tournament, averaging 27. He's the X factor for this team. When he plays well, he's usually stretching the defenses out to come get him, which will open up a lot of the middle of the floor. Hubert Davis in his first year as the head coach at North Carolina, replacing the legend Roy Williams, and here they are in the Sweet 16. The starting lineups for North Carolina and UCLA guard play huge key with Davis and love Armando Baycock can be a dominant figure inside leaky black tremendous defender UCLA all five of these players started last year for the Bruins and Mick Cronin they learned a lot from last year and they've carried it with them into the tournament this year Tony Padilla Lee Cassell and Courtney Green are officiating crew. It's another chapter in the long history between UCLA and North Carolina. Winner goes to the Elite Eight. Baycott jump it up with Riley. North Carolina controls the tip. This really stacks up as a terrific matchup for these two teams because they play very similar styles, not really in a race up type of tempo. A lot of half court sets and center play here. Inside, doesn't go. Baycott tried to follow it and couldn't convert on the interior. 14th all time meeting. North Carolina 10 and 3 against the Bruins. You know, with the Bruins, I'm looking at possibly Bernard to shoot the ball well in tonight's game. Jaquez missed it. He missed the shot, but that's a good sign, though, I am that they ran it through him to start. The ankle didn't look bad. Way outside. Long cans it from long range. And North Carolina on the board first. You know, against Marquette, he had a couple of threes early to set the tone for North Carolina. Then they knocked off the number one seed in the East, Baylor, the defending champions, in overtime. They led by 25 in the second half. Open look, book it from the outside. It is Johnny Juze. Oh, I remember him last year. What a run he was on. Fabulous tournament. And if he can get going with his stroke. Love can't answer. Offensive rebound. Baycott, one of the premier rebounders in college basketball. Manic with a downtown hit. Hit four for eight against Baylor for the ejection. But overall, he's been stroking it from long range. 39% on the season. He puts North Carolina in front, 6-3. Drop it outside. Campbell will let it fly off the rim. Box out there by Maddock, who averages just under six boards per game. Davis trying to get them organized. Pump fake from Leaky Black. Steal. Jules Bernard. Angles in on the Euro. Good step across his right eye and in terms of reading that play, passing lane. It's a nice matchup with the point guards, too, though, right here with Davis and Campbell. 
North Carolina playing in its 52nd NCAA tournament. Second most all time. 13 straight. Love challenging the big. And the follow goes for Baycott. Baycott just understands this offense so well and finds the spot on the floor. Even if he knows he's not the primary catcher of the ball, he's going to make something happen off the rebound. And we've seen his mobility already. Yeah. Very comfortable in there, rebounding the ball and brings that wide body, 6'10", 240. Bernard was looking to slice, couldn't. Riley, that lefty J, no. Rebound snagged by Davis. R.J. Davis from White Plains, New York. Sophomore pulls the trigger. Can't hit the three. So it'll be Tiger Campbell, the poised point guard, now in his junior season from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, setting things up for the Bruins. Yeah, barely turns the basketball over. Taquez, one-on-one. -on -one. Back in and kick. Three on the way. Air ball from Bernard. Tracked down by Riley. UCLA has six to work with. Riley short. And the board to Baycott. He averages just under nine per game. You see the pace with... Carolina just taking their time. Baycott extra feed. Manic lays it in. He really has been the missing piece for North Carolina. The transfer from Oklahoma. Yeah, he really has been. Iron. And the other part of it is you notice we haven't seen either of these two teams look to really push it up the floor that much. And Carolina that plays to their benefit because their starters play tons of minutes. Campbell swing it. Bernard book it a three. Yeah, he's got a smooth stroke. He just looks constantly for that three. We'll drive it to the basket on occasion. Improvement each season yep. for Jules Bernard, and he could be an X factor here for UCLA. Yeah, and eight straight games in double figures. So he's been playing on a little bit of an uptick. North Carolina up by two. They go to the pick and roll constantly. North Carolina does. Love. Ball fake. Floater. Right. Off the backboard and wouldn't go down. Push up the floor by Juzang. As you mentioned last year's rung, Juzang averaged 23 points per game in the NCAA tournament. Seems like he made every big shot in the tournament, too, last year. Huck has one on one with Manic, the spin, the deuce. Yeah, that's where he's very difficult. When I touched on the fact that they run a lot of things through him, he is very crafty in terms of what he can do in the paint with that type of spin move that we just saw him execute. And we are tied at 10. Blowout win over Marquette in the first round for UNC. 95-63, and there's a turnover by the Tar Heels. Juze, head and shoulder fake. Slapping at the ball. Terrific defender, Leaky Black. Up ahead, catch, layup. That's end-to-end -end action for Leaky. And Juzang, I think, I and last year, he would have pulled up for that three on the run. And they slowed him down just enough to get the transition offense out of it. Middle name is Malik. His first name is Rayshon, but his grandmother called him Leaky, and it stuck. And he leaked out on that play. Well, and he sticks to you defensively, too. Juzang, bottom. Great matchup, too, with him and Black going against one another. 12 apiece, just about six minutes gone by. Fast moving first half so far. Maddock gives it up for Baycott. Look to the inside. Baycott got forced out of the area he wanted to get to initially, and he misses on that baby hook. Yeah, I think he ended up going a little too far to his baseline side right then. And when he started to shoot it, he recognized, hey, I'm a little bit too close to the baseline and to the side of that backboard. Pull up jump, Campbell, money. That's where he's tough to guard because he's explosive to the basket in terms of driving it and dishing it. But if he can hit that little 15 footer, that's money for UCLA. Bruins do not turn it over often. Second fewest turnovers in the country behind just Wisconsin, nine per game. Manic tight defense there from Haquez. Yeah, he's finding him now. He's going to stay on him like the glove. 10 to shoot. Love using the Baycott screen. Small against big. And big wins, jumper off the mark. And I think UCLA will let him take that shot, try to force the action into Love's hand from long range. UCLA trailed Akron by seven points in the first round with six minutes to left in the game. They turned up the defensive intensity. Haquez in and out. Good looking move though. His ankle doesn't seem to be bothering him. Davis picked up by Campbell, two point lead for UCLA. 
Love drops it inside. Baycott leans and scores. I'm wondering if the officials have whistles tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this is just going back and forth. Tied at 14. And I don't mean that as if they're missing calls. I'm just saying these guys are going up and down at their pace. It's been really clean so far. Yeah. Juzang defended by Black. Campbell couldn't get it to him. Instead, it's Hawkes with six to shoot. Hawkes bumping bodies with Manic. Hawkes, that extra wow. move, pretty fake. <laughs> and the bucket. Jaime Hawkes with a little bit of sauce. Oh boy, let me see if you can guard that. One move, two moves, throw a couple of extra ones, and he gets a free look at it. Bruins up by two. Davis. Launches and misses on a three ball. Same team, and it's tracked down by Juzang. I don't want to see the ball go out of bounds either. <laughs> <laughs> you want to just get to halftime. Just keep going. Well, this is fun. This is good. They're both doing exactly what they came in from a game plan situation. Campbell couldn't turn the corner on Davis equally quick. Campbell, stop and go. Juzang, no airspace to work with, with Black. Terrific, closing in. Terrific defender. Juzang. Tough. Oh, Johnny man. Juzang. <laughs> Pure. Wow, we've seen a couple of shots already by the Bruins that have been just flat out fantastic. We come up on the 11 minute mark of this first half. Love to the corner. Black can't hit the three. Offensive rebound, Baycott. Takes that baseline, and it is out of bounds. Jim, I just what, heard a whistle. What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> Try to guard this. Little fake here, little fake there, and then he comes back. You don't see that one. Two drifting shots in one move right there, and bury one from the corner. Juzang. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. The most patient person in the arena, Jamie Erdahl. Oh, what a compliment, Ian. Thank you. You know who needed some patience was Brady Manick last week. He was called for an F2, ejected from their win against Baylor with 10 minutes left in regulation. He was sequestered to the locker room, subjected to watch a Jumbotron feed that was at least three plays behind. He said it was an emotional roller coaster. He apologized to his teammates because usually Hubert Davis would make the team run if a player was called for an F2. The team said, well, we would bear crawl for you, Brady Manick. That's how much they love this guy in their program. And there was concern. The players were actually under the impression that Manic would not be able to right, play exactly. in the next yep. round. And then they alerted the players, no, no, no. Brady's going to be fine. Well, that's a tough pass to get through right there. Turnover, Jalen Clark in, Miles Johnson in, and it's out of bounds as Peyton Watson, one of the new players that checked in, couldn't track it down. And Jim, Here we, we have a timeout. More whistles. I can't deal. <laughs> no, that's three tonight. Coming right back. Watch every game live on your phone, tablet, computer, and favorite streaming device with March Madness Live. Watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. Moments ago, Jamie with UCLA head coach Mick Cronin. Coach, that was up and down for quite the stretch there. What does that say about your execution in the first half of this game? Well, we're making shots. That's not going to last forever. We made a lot of hard ones, so... We're going to have to do a little bit better job with their pick and roll, but RJ is so good and so is Caleb Love. It's going to be a long game. Shot selection wise, are you pleased? Just so the right guys are shooting. Thanks, Coach. All right, All right Jamie. Foul on Peyton Watson, who met Baycott at the rim, and he had cruel intentions. Foul call. Well, Mick Cronin, when speaking to Jamie, talking about doing a better job on the pick and roll. That's what comes almost every set they run has a pick and roll. They're really different. Hubert Davis' team, Davis's team is so different than prior North Carolina teams because they use that pick and roll. He was fun to talk to, too, yesterday, yep. wasn't he? He was. Uh, I think he realizes that this season brought some challenges, but it really brought this group closer together as Bigcott misses on a pair. So the chemistry that you see on the floor is the same as the chemistry off the yeah, floor. Yeah, it's great. It's great to see. 17 games, the past 17 games, have only lost three, so they've been really playing well. And they pivoted on yeah. who they thought they were going to be offensively. Jump shot, Juzang, missed it long, rebounded by Davis. But they don't go very deep. 
No. You know, five of their starters play about 29 minutes or more, a couple of the 30s. Here's Love. Dribble drive, forced it short. And a good defensive play from the Rutgers transfer, Miles Johnson, there to greet him. Pretty good stopper, too, and the off defensive end, Johnson. Johnson hands to Campbell. Switch. Campbell, the jumper, no. Rebound knocked out of the hands of Baycott and tracked down by Black. They get Baycott a touch early in this possession, and now Davis will set things up. Foul call, Johnson crowding the sideline and picks up his first. Well, these are two premier programs when you talk about North Carolina, UCLA, Blue Bloods, North Carolina, all-time 128 wins at the tournament, UCLA 113, Final Fours, North Carolina's been to one more than UCLA, but the Bruins have got everybody in the championship department. Dontres Stiles has checked in, the freshman from Kinston, North Carolina. Give it up, love, swing, tend to shoot. Love using the Maddox screen. Shot clock's down to three. It's down to two. Love takes it in. Erased by Johnson. Up ahead. Watson backs it out. Juzang, he's got one on one with Love. And now a screen. Bernard, the spin. Oh, he's elusive. Bernard puts it up and in off the window. Yeah, they're playing. Usually they play four out and one in, but right now they have Johnson out at the top of the key area, so really it's five guys out, even though Johnson isn't a jump shooter from out there. Interesting style for UCLA, but it worked on that play because of Bernard's creativity. It's an eight-nothing run, nearly five minutes of action without a point, and that ends with the Davis silky smooth jump shot. Another guy for Carolina who's been playing very, very well, coming off a career high of 30 points against Baylor. That was a nerve-wracking game for Carolina fans. It was when Manic got knocked out of the yep. game with the flagrant that Jamie talked about. It just went south. Yes, it sure did. In a hurry. Foul call, 22-16. UCLA on top of North Carolina. First half action in Philadelphia. During the timeout, Jamie Erdahl with Tar Heels head man Hubert Davis. Coach, you warned us that UCLA was gifted one-on-one. -on -one. Is that how they're beating you so far? Well, we're just not tied in defensively. You know, when I talked to them before the game, it's not a one-on-one -on -one game. It's a one-on-five game. So the guy that's guarding the one-on-one -on -one player, there needs to be four defenders behind them in position to be able to help. we got to do a better job of contesting shots and rebounding and limit them to one shot every possession. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Out of the timeout, Hawkins delivers in the paint. And right on cue, North Carolina doesn't do what Hubert Davis was just saying in terms of that was one-on-one -on -one defense, no help whatsoever. Huck has just too talented to let him get down in that space. Davis knocks it to the outside to Love. Manic, corner three, shooting practice. Got it. Boy, another guy who could put that, you could put that headband around his eyes and he'd be able to shoot right through it. Four-year starter for the Sooners, a floor spacer for North Carolina, and he's changed their whole offensive dynamic. 50% in threes when he's shooting the ball in the tournament. High-low, caught by Haquez. Black there defensively. Riley, they'll live with that. And it is rebounded by Styles. Looks at a pick and roll. Every time down, it seems like they run the pick and roll. Now it's a small versus a big. Let's see if he breaks him down off the dribble. Davis, outstanding handle. Stop and go for Davis. Drags the big with him. Now takes him to the outside with 10 to shoot. Lines it up. Buries it. A three. Either you break him down one way, you bring him right back out. You stand the big guy up. Riley stayed with him to give him his due for three or four seconds. Smart, smart basketball by Davis just then. Two state titles in high school. And Archbishop Stepanak. McDonald's All-American, the New York Player of the Year, his senior year, all-time leading scorer in Westchester. Riley, the back end, shows the ball, and missed it on the fade. Pretty good execution by UCLA, just didn't come away with the hoop. Nice ball fakes, maybe one too many to throw him off with his timing with Riley. North it Carolina is. shared it well in the first two rounds. 22 assists, 28 field goals against Baylor. Tough one, and Riley gets a piece of Davis. 
Jumper rims out for Bernard and cleared by Styles. See, when they break like that, UCLA will look for transition in selective manner, and they will look to shoot it also. Bullet feed, Styles backs it out. Against Marquette, they had 34 field goals, 29 assists. Styles, the jumper, off. Ooh. Shoots it at just 20% from long range. I don't think McCronin doesn't know that. Letting him shoot the ball. Two-point lead for UCLA. We come up on five minutes to go in this first half. This is a play that McCronin just called for. Black strips it away. Ball ricochets over to Campbell. Trying to find the open man. Bernard got stuck on the baseline, but just creates his own space. He created, but that was some reaction defensively by Carolina by three guys on that, two on the ball and one in the corner to get to Bernard. But he made a sensational drive. He's got really good touch. Yep, he, he sure does. Nine points for the L.A. native. Davis tried to drive it in on Campbell. Manic catching fire. No. Maybe a little rush that trip. Out of bounds. No, they save it. Juzang went to the corner. 26-22, UCLA. Hawkes running the point right now. Against a good defender in black. Nick Cronin calls out a play. Hawkes. Ball fake. He got Manic to commit and then lean, he's, and he gets to the free throw line. Crazy good in terms of the way he could fake with the basketball. Just has a great feel. Yep. Tournament summary on National Peacock Day. The Peacocks advance to the Elite Eight first 15 seed to ever accomplish that. Number one seed Kansas defeats Providence 66-61. 23rd Elite Eight appearance in school history. UCLA is the only remaining Pac-12 school. Haquez at 77% at the line. Changes here as Puff Johnson, the younger brother of Cam Johnson, will check in. Baycott checks in as well for North Carolina. We send it over to Jamie. Well, Baycott was getting treatment on his low back on the bench over here. He looked stiff as he walked around. They did a couple different massage treatments. He sat on a pad on the seat, which are already padded seats, to be honest. So obviously something's uncomfortable for him. Just something to keep an eye on. And we will. Four points, five rebounds. Oh. You have that machine? You own it? I have a smaller version of that. Oh, that's good to know. And I'm telling you, they hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the scouting they report. Have, they do hurt when you turn them on. Miles Johnson back in. Jake Kyman, the junior, will see his first action of the night. Another switch here out front with Davis. Davis has got that crossover Whoa. move. High one. Oh. Slam down! Manic with a grown man's jam! I, did you happen to notice when Davis shot that ball? It kind of looked like Manic ran into him a little bit and took a, a shot to push him back, but that didn't keep him off the offensive glass. Fear the beard. Wow. Bernard can't answer. Rebounded by Love. North Carolina can tie or take the lead depending on shot selection. 26-24 UCLA. Manic tried to dump it down to Baycott, intercepted. Johnson steps in front, race to the rim. Campbell draws the foul. Nice. Now we get a timeout, second personal on R.J. Davis. Uh, so Manic has really put in a good effort. Here's this shot where he comes in and finishes it off on that floater by Davis. It's up for grabs. Not for long, though. Carolina fighting right back. The two sides of March for St. Peter's. That's Shaheen Holloway's son, Xavier Holloway, placing the placard into the Elite Eight. And then Zach Eady and his mom with Purdue as the Boilermakers come up short. The Peacocks advance to Sunday night here in Philadelphia. And words that I never thought I would say, St. Peter's waits to see who they will play in the Elite Eight, either UCLA or North Carolina. Incredible. Do you want my opinion on who I think they want to have to play? Sure. I don't think it matters to them <laughs> right now. I don't, I don't think it matters one bit to those guys. At some point, the coaches will have to think about it. Love misses from the outside. Rebound from Johnson. Works in and gets the roll, plus the harm. Puff Johnson. The sophomore 
from Moon Township, Pennsylvania. He worked the glass, good grab to start with, and then the finish. Look, he gets hit across the shoulder and strong enough to just continue through the play. Second chance points, 12-0 UNC. Puff looks strikingly like his brother Cam, now a standout with the Phoenix Suns. 73% shooter, Donovan Puff Johnson. He loved Cocoa Puffs as a kid. That's how he got his nickname. You loved cereal as a child as well. My father worked the Kellogg cereal. Well, there so you go. Had to, well, I, you was, had to. It was mandatory. <laughs> you didn't really have a choice. 28 26, UCLA. Watch out. Oh. Jumping on top of Tiger. And a foul is called. Campbell maintained his balance and big smile as Caleb Love will pick up the personal. It's like one of those moves that you pull off in the pool. <laughs> Chicken fights? Exactly. I couldn't think of what they were called. Very good. <laughs> I wouldn't Chicken want to fight fights. you in the pool. I know oh, that. Oh, boy, I'd love to get you in the chicken fight. <laughs> <laughs> Who envisioned greatness today? Tune in to Inside March Madness, presented by Buick, and find out. Campbell, 84% shooter. Fourth year junior, he tore his ACL his true freshman year and has been a starter since. We're down to 235 to play, first half, with UCLA in front by three. Love gives it up. Black on a back end. Over Juzang, no. Rebound fought for, controlled by the Bruins. Basically, four Bruins in the paint trying to defend, especially Campbell scooping that one up off the floor. Juzang fighting through injury, rims out. Baycott taps it over to Johnson. Yeah, not an easy shot, but he makes it look easy once he gets past that screener up high. North Carolina averaging 94 points per game in the first two rounds of the tournament, the highest in the field. Yeah, the pace is going to be so much different in this one. Baycott connects from the perimeter. 29-28, UCLA. Don't tell me this is going to be another good game in March, is it? <laughs> I think we're seeing a trend. trend. <laughs> there is a trend tonight, that's for sure. Campbell the blow by, they lost it out of bounds. A reminder that AT&T at the half is coming up. Greg, Clark, Kenny, and Charles will get you updated on the Midwest Regional Semifinal between Iowa State and Miami. Show you how St. Peter's and Kansas punch their tickets to the Elite Eight. It's all coming up on AT&T at the half. I just happened to watch Baycott walk back on the offensive side of the floor. Just didn't look like a normal strut to me in terms of get, just walking up the floor. Let's see how he reacts with that lower back. Manic air ball. He was looking for a foul call as Johnson extended out. Out of bounds. And if anything, the flop they warning may have been in effect. They a flop. So Manic went down in a heap, and it caught the eyes of the officials. You know, I happen to be speaking to one of the officials tonight about this. You don't see this call that often, Ian, on the offensive side. No. They usually say, well, when the head flops back on the, on the defender, that's a sign for it. And the offensive guy sometimes when he's dribbling. Haven't seen that one in a while. Four minutes without a field goal for the Bruins. Jaquez gives it up, gets it back. Jaquez, he's a whirling dervish. He sure is, and that was a good delivery to Bernard, from Bernard also. Filled the spot in the middle of the floor and then released the ball even that much quicker. 31-28 UCLA, under a minute to go in this first half. Both teams under the foul limit so they can play aggressively if they want. Maybe not so much with Carolina picking up an extra foul for anybody. Drop it inside, Baycott. Ball gets slapped out of there, and Juzang comes away with it yeah. with a two and a half second different shot clock to game clock. And that was Campbell again along the baseline where he's been parked a little bit as a little guy. Terrific defensive effort. Campbell, their on-court leader, controls tempo for UCLA. Jaquez can handle the ball as well. Johnson pops out for a screen. Switch. Hawkes against Baycott. Watch this now. Hawkes wants to dance. Oof. Jumper doesn't go. Black has got five seconds to work with. Push it up the floor. Fire. Johnson way off. And it's going to be late for Love. Too late. 
for love. Very nice. And you looked me right in the eye. <laughs> we spent a lot of time together the last two weeks. I'm leaving. 31-28. UCLA with the advantage on North Carolina at the half. Just about ready for second half action. Let's take a look at the Capital One first half stats. In that first half, UCLA shoots it at 48%. North Carolina attempted a lot of threes. Offensive rebounds, North Carolina getting a bunch of second chances. Ian Eagle, Jim Spinarco, Jamie Erdahl. One of these two teams is headed to the Elite Eight. Golden opportunity here. Not a lot of foul calls. That was a fast-moving first half, Jimmy. Yeah, that first eight minutes of that half just flew by without yeah. any whistles at all. But I think these two teams are really interesting match in terms of half-court play. They run similar sets in terms of a lot of screens and pick and rolls, especially in the Carolina side. All right, time for us to close the gap, presented by Aflac. And it's important, obviously, when you look at keys for the Tar Heels to make sure four guys stay on the floor. They play a lot of their time in terms of the minutes for this team and mid-range scoring from UCLA with 14 points. All right, here's the second half with UCLA. First possession, let's check in with Jamie. Cooper Davis told me that his tone was encouraged in the locker room despite being down three. He said as long as we can take care of the ball a little bit better for North Carolina and not bite on shot fakes, he feels like they can crawl back into this one. Mick Cronin did tell me, though, Cody Riley, who had a puffy knee to start this week, he needs to calm down and loosen up a little bit to get into this game. He's over so far. And he gets that bucket, Jamie, to start this second half and give UCLA a 33-28 advantage. Hard drive and a finish by Love. Nice sets by both teams to start the second half, going towards the basket. UCLA last year as an 11 seed went to the final four. First four to the final four. Huck has no. Manic couldn't grab it, but out of bounds off of Riley. Well, you take a look, just a little hesitation off the pick and roll. Nobody's there to defend because Riley has to slide to to cover Baycott traveling to the basket. So a good offensive set for North Carolina. UCLA this season 22 and 0 and holding opponents to under 67 points. Right now the Tar Heels trailing UCLA 33 to 30. Love inside the arc short. Riley got his body over there and last touch by Baycott. Mick Cronin has 11 players who are either from Southern California or played high school basketball there. So a lot of pride, West Coast pride for this team, getting this program back on track. Catch and fire, Juzang off the heel. Good half court set for Juzang. They want to see if they can get him involved a little bit more in terms of getting that mid-range jumper to go. Love, drop it inside. Baycott throws it down for the Tar Heels. At first I wasn't sure Baycott saw that pass coming, but obviously they know their sets. UCLA surely didn't know that that was coming. One point game. Just about two minutes gone by in this second half. Juzang watched by Black. High screen Riley. Juzang tried to shake off Baycott. Penetration, push shot, Campbell, no. Baycott controls it. Yeah, Riley was a pretty big factor there as a block in the middle of the floor. Good look down the middle. Roll to the rim, Baycott. Tough angle, and he finishes on the inside. Manic with a beautiful delivery just then. Just being aware of the play. He was ahead of the play initially and had to wait a second for the big to fill the middle of the floor. Ten points, eight rebounds for the junior Armando Baycott out of Richmond, Virginia. What a great year he has had. First lead since 12-10 for UNC. Jumper is good. Jules Bernard with a deep shot. He really understands how to set himself up in terms of getting his feet set prior to that ball being received by him. While it's in the air, he's actually setting himself up for a shot. He's got 12 points. He averages just under 13. Love. Connection. A three ball for Caleb Love. I caught that, by the way. The Love, Love connection. connection. Thanks. Late, late on a Friday, I still have to listen to you. You think Chuck Woolery's watching? That's <laughs> it. Campbell tries that shake and bake. Outside, Riley for two. Yeah, I was going to say, he can make that little 17-footer just then, so he can drag Baycott away from the ball, the basket defensively. 
38-37. Back and forth we go with UCLA in front by one. Huckes. Wow, look at this. He scraped it away twice and puts it down. Jaime Huckes flying to the rim. Yeah, a guy who everybody was thinking from the UCLA side that the ankle might be bothering him a little bit. He has really been explosive at the beginning of this game and now to start the second half also. And he looked springy yeah, on that, that play. No that issue. Beyond springy. Davis swing. Black thought about it. Leaky Black leans in. And he got denied at the rim. And it's going the other way. Contact after the rebound. Juzang got pushed. This is called not quitting on a play. You get one deflection and watch the second one right there. He could have backed off a little bit, took a chance. Pretty good finish for a guy with a bad ankle. And by the way, he heard his other ankle earlier in the year. So he's been fighting two bad ankles and wow. Hurt my ankles all day long if you can jump like that. Jaime Jaquez Jr. 14 point score, just under six rebounds, does a little bit of everything and a relentless competitor for the Bruins. UCLA up by three. Hakez trying to set up Manic. Tipped home. Johnson underneath with the bucket. Once again, Hakez setting it. They've run everything pretty much through him when he's playing his game. Manic. Wow. Baycott comes push. over the back on Johnson. So UCLA will have the basketball after the second foul on Miles Johnson. Akez again understanding what he's trying to do. He flips it up against the glass, a soft shot that's in rebounding position. UCLA with a lead 42 to 37. Watch Masters Live for exclusive coverage of Amen Corner 15 and 16 and featured groups. Watch live on the CBS Sports app, CBSSports.com, Paramount Plus and Masters.com. Well, you take a look at the Bruins offensively. They love to pound it in with Hawkes. They run a lot of the offense through him. And here's Bernard just with a soft touch with that hesitation. You never know when he's going to shoot the basketball in the lane. AT&T 5G taking us above the rim for one of the best plays of the night. Jaime Hawkes has been dealing with ankle issues throughout the season. Right ankle sprain in the second half against St. Mary's. Injured that right ankle on January the 29th against Stanford. Injured his left ankle. Missed a game because of that. He's been wearing braces on both ankles the entire year. Juzang, clean look. Rims out. Rebounded by Johnson. How about that two-man game? Hakez and Juzang on the left side of the floor. Pretty difficult to defend. They just, Carolina ducked the bullet there without it going in with a three shot. Manic gets his hand on it and a takeaway for North Carolina. Nice look. Love oh, 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 oh. gets around Campbell. An electric slide layup. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Campbell thought he was in position to pick up a charge on that play, but not so fast. 42-39 Bruins. Two-man game. Bernard and Johnson now. Bernard off. Yeah, bodies banging on the inside. Foul called. It's going to stay right here against UNC. Watch Campbell on this play. He steps across thinking, well, I got a shot at stopping him for a split second. But that is just incredible. A beautiful drive and body control. Body, everything. You name it, it was in that move. And he went into attack mode. Juzang misses from the side. It's rebounded by Manic. By the way, Baycott picked up his third foul on the rebound action. Well, that's one of the problems with not having a whole lot of depth. Davis fouled in the act. Three free throws for R.J. Davis. Just the smarts of Davis right now. He knows he has somebody trailing from behind them, and Campbell just can't stop his momentum, so a good time to go up and shoot. I'm still looking at Baycott right across from us, I, and he just doesn't seem like he's, he's running almost better than he's walking. Hubert Davis has put his arm around him, had a chat. First free throw made for North Carolina tonight. Prior to that, they were 0 of 3. We asked him who has stepped forward in a leadership role this season for UNC. Davis said, 
Everybody. Everybody. Yep. It, it hasn't been just one guy. Everybody recognized that area had to improve. And he said they just didn't have it early in the season. It developed over the course of the year. Baycott will take a seat. Puff Johnson back in. Davis shoots it at 80 percent. Tie game. What else is new? <laughs> it's been a theme. <laughs> it's been great. Fifth tie of the night. Campbell looking to get Chu Zhang involved. He'll set the screen. Switch. Drop it in. Riley. Head and shoulder fake. Pivots. And a three second violation. He was in there a long time. So a turnover for UCLA as Riley tried to make his move towards the rim. That's the point from Mick Cronin. Yeah, he's asking him to go quicker. You see, he's in there for a couple of seconds more. Now he's, yeah, that's a good call. Well defended, not only underneath by Manic just then, but also well defended by the perimeter players for Carolina. Just the fifth turnover for the Bruins. North Carolina can take the lead. Manic hands to Davis. Switch, he's got the big. And pulls himself out to give a little running room. For two, bottom. See, that's a little guard trick right there. You have him, but you want to back it out just a little bit. You bait the big guy to take a step towards you, and then you get your momentum going at him, and then you really can dictate what you want to do on the fly. 44-42, North Carolina. Juzang watched by Johnson. Yeah, he's... He's been snuffing him down a little bit the last two possessions. Juzang makes his move, loses it, and a foul call. All right, so you watch Davis. He started out there, right, to set himself up. And now, look, you got a big guy backpedaling. There's just no way you're going to be able to see Riley ret retreat and then come back out and close out on a shooter like Davis. Johnny Juzang shoots it at 83%. Junior from Tarzana, California, one year at Kentucky, transferred back, and has been such a difference maker for UCLA. Tomorrow on CBS, a little more college hoops history is on the line. Northwest Missouri State takes on Augusta with a title up for grabs. NCAA Division II Men's Basketball Championship presented by Reese's tomorrow, 3 Eastern, here on CBS. They'll rotate Jalen Clark in, and Cody Riley will sit for the Bruins. A little smaller without Johnson on the floor. Four players with exactly 10 points for the Tar Heels. Love, Baycott, Davis, and Manic. Love, Fendoff. Oh, that's a tough move for Caleb Love. I thought Carolina took a couple of needless shots from long range in that first half. They are really blending it in very nicely here in their half court sets. Caleb's dad, Dennis, played college football. That had a football look to it. Somehow that ball didn't go in for Jalen Clark. Two Tar Heels recovered pretty quickly. That's why. Davis, head of steam, pull up. Wow. <laughs> long rebound, Bernard. Oh. Off balance three. <laughs> yeah, that was on the fly, and he was flying towards the basket. 46 44, North Carolina. We come up on 12 minutes to play in regulation. Mick Cronin, his third year as the head coach, calls out a play. Haquez, jump step, kick out. Choosing, yes, sir. That's a call from the bench again. That little left side two-man action, knowing that you have a shooter wide open on the right side because it baits the defenders to clog into the middle of the lane. And the Bruins go up by one. Davis hands to Love. Pretty good pace again without the whistles being blown. Crossover. Love. Oh, that is sweet. All off the dribble, too, with Love right now. First half, he took two quick shots, and now he's playing real steady basketball, attacking off the dribble. Big game in the first round. It was Davis who did most of the damage at the guard position in the second round. Campbell drive and kick. Jumper, Clark. He's got it. The sophomore nails it from the corner. Yeah, the defense isn't all that bad in this game, but these guys are really showing some offensive talent. UCLA is 5 of 10 from long range. Wow, oh, that's really <laughs> deep. Oh, Caleb Love! You 
gotta love it. <laughs> Not if you're a Bruin trying to defend it. 51 to 50. Wow, is that ever range? Love is lethal. Dribble drive by Tiger Campbell. And the seesaw it's continues. Like these guys have a train to catch. They're just playing up and down, no whistles. Love. No. Heat no. check? Uh-oh. No. <laughs> Rebound on the floor. Who wants it? Everybody. Oh, look at this. It's up in the air now. Maddox <laughs> got it for North Carolina. Tried to slip it inside. Out of bounds. Last touch by UCLA. Woo. Baby. Two of the premier programs in the country. North Carolina, UCLA, oh. trading shots oh, man. in Philly. All right, Greg, thanks so much. Iowa State, Miami in a good one. This is a great one here. Manic misses from the outside. Out of the timeout with UCLA in front by one. Hubert Davis gets the shot he wants out of that timeout. Long range stretch four who can shoot it. Love has been the go-to guy for UNC in the second half. 14 of the Tar Heels, 23 points. Juzek trying to get around Baycott. Floater is good. Baycott back in there. Playing with three, three fouls. fouls. Uh, yeah, that's the key. That's why I think he went after him. He's trying to lean and throw that body ahead of the move. Manic, open look. No. Oh. Out of bounds. And UCLA will have it. You know, watch how he tries to hunt out number five in blue, Baycott, right here. Wait a second, Jimmy. That might have grazed off Riley in the eyes of Lee Cassell, and they're calling the players back to this end of the floor. North Carolina is going to retain possession. And Mick Cronin is baffled. Very curious. <laughs> exactly. Black gets it in. Manic could not finish it. You see his reaction just then, too, running down the floor. I can't believe I just missed that. Brady Manic from Hara, Oklahoma. We are past the midway point of this second half. 54 51, UCLA. Bruins have made four straight. Pretty. Bruins have made five straight. It's Jules Bernard on the interior. Pretty move just then because he got tucked away on the left side and knew he was going to be in trouble unless he reversed that. And a great find out front. Swing. Has a screen from Baycott. Now they switch. Davis against the big Riley. This is what they want. Turns on the Jets. Oh. Rejected by Riley. You know, one of the things about Riley that time, because they closed the spread, they didn't. He didn't pull him back out. Just went at him initially. Look at Riley staying away. Body's fine, and he catches it flush. The fourth block for UCLA. Dangerous pass from Davis. It's taken away by Riley. Good work in the corner there to prevent that entry pass. Bruins trying to extend their lead. 56-51. Campbell picked up by Davis. Hawkins wants it. The drive on Manic. Hawkins is crafty. Couldn't finish it. Out of bounds. There's a double tip, I think. And it's going to stay right here. Last touch by Manic. Just watch him, I, and you just don't know when he's going to shoot it. Is he going to shoot there? No, he just comes around the corner. And once again, he just missed that shot with his left hand, one that usually he finishes off. I think this is a good substitution, too. Johnson will replace Manic. Yeah, I think that's a good substitution. Little frustrated. He missed that one close-up shot. Give him a little breather and get him back in there. Get it in. Hakez missed the leaner. Baycott staying away with those three fouls. Love. Fake. Bank. Caleb Love. He is locked in. Yep, he sure is. And nice work defensively there, too, that he recognized the guy going straight up, but he just kept barreling in. Not a charge. Good call. Juzang working against the youngster. Juzang, turn around. Missed it. Rebound. It's got to be a Juzang over the top. Don't it you is. Think? Yeah. That's a frustration rebound. Puff Johnson ended up on the hardwood, and that's going to be the first foul on 
Johnny Juzang. So he knows he has a, a, a tough shot there, and he comes barreling it over the back. Everybody's okay up. UCLA up by three. We are under eight minutes to go. Out to Love. Screen, switch, Love. Oh, yeah! Right now for North Carolina, all you need is Love. And I think UCLA, with their scouting report, didn't have a problem with him taking many outside shots. And has he ever proven that wrong? Tie game. 19 and a half, 22 overall for Caleb Love. Campbell way outside. Campbell. Oh, tricky. Somehow gets to the <laughs> rim. Tiger Campbell with a creativity. Both of these coaches, Ian, you can watch them across the way. They are both working very, very hard and animated with their teams. Here's Love. He's fouled. Yeah, squeezed in from behind. Another beautiful shot by Love. Woo. And how about Campbell down the other end? Hesitate, come through. I see Biggs chasing me down. Finish it. Welcome back here in Philadelphia. Our game summary with UCLA in front of North Carolina. This is the 4-8 matchup in the East region. 58 to 56. Caleb Love is having a night. 22 points, 9 of 19 from the field. UNC is 13 and 0 the last two seasons when Love cracks 20. Davis over Bernard, missed it long. Rebounded by Johnson for UCLA. Yeah, I think the next time down the floor from Carolina, I'd call Baycott's number out, get him a post look. These two teams were supposed to play on December 18th in Vegas in the CBS Classic, but COVID protocols canceled that one. Juzang defended by Johnson, screen, switch. Yeah, here's that two-man action that they run. Haquez peaks at the clock, five. Haquez makes his move. Haquez fades, rims, out. Rebound knocked around and controlled by UNC's Puck Johnson. Yeah, good enough job by Baycott to keep Johnson off the, the offensive glass for UCLA. Oh, oh. It won't count. <laughs> and a foul called on the floor. I know that's the rule that it's called on the floor, but that was a dandy of a shot, wasn't it? Watch this. There's the foul up front, and he keeps going. So it's a good call from the officials by rule, but in that other league, they let him play that one through, don't they? In the NBA? Pretty good chance that's where Caleb will be playing one day. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> 6-10 to play, two-point lead for UCLA. Manic is back in. Baycott, Love, oh. missed it from three-point territory. Campbell steps in for the rebound. Called his number on that play, too. Look at Mick Cronin in the background there, just instructing, calling out the plays, telling everybody where to go, stamping his feet, doing everything. Screen, Hawkes releases, Campbell, Oh, what a pass inside. Johnson puts it down, but it's all set up by the vision of Tiger Campbell. Yeah, it almost looked like he was squeezed by two players just then in that left corner. He got buried in there with the traffic. UCLA up by four. They have now matched North Carolina in the paint. There's Baycott with a mismatch. Manic, no good. Tip in doesn't go. Baycott got hit on the play. See, Baycott had Campbell down low. They should have gone to him initially, but that's why he was able to get that rebound because Campbell couldn't keep him off the offensive glass. And watch this drive. It looks like a couple of Carolina. Yeah, they're squeezing initially, but then Baycott makes that move a little bit, gets out of position, and he pays for it. Foul on Miles Johnson, his second. Show your love for your favorite NCAA team with officially licensed fan gear. For the best selection of team apparel and accessories, head to NCAA.com slash shop. Double-double once again for Armando Baycott. First team all ACC. And the Bruins up by two. Keep in mind that North Carolina is a terrific free throw shooting team if it turns into that in this last five minutes. Campbell, double team. 
Hakez. No good. Rebound grabbed by Manic. Love pushing pace. Yeah, he's just playing with confidence. You can tell the way he's dribbling it up the floor. Oh, he just grabbed, dribbled it right to Baycott almost. Turnover, UNC. Play called out by Mick Cronin. Yeah, he's putting the brakes on this. They don't have a breakaway layup. He's just coming back with his sets. Juzang with the three. No. Baycott the board. North Carolina down by two, four and a half to play in regulation. Davis Swoop. splits defenders, swing it. Manic for the lead, yes! That is such a money dribble out front. One or two dribbles, Davis with a terrific, and I mean terrific split of the defenders, and Manic knows exactly where he's supposed to be on the floor. And the thought process was absolutely perfect. Tar Heels fans erupt here in Philadelphia. North Carolina in front. Maddock puts it down. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? Try it first. They're trying it. Oh, there you go. A little extra flair. <laughs> Brady Manick touched on him at the top of the show. 13 points, eight rebounds. Jaime Jaquez dealing with an ankle injury. Still has been effective, hasn't shot it well. Five of 14, but 10 points and four boards. UCLA now down by one. Out of the timeout. The denial. Campbell gets it back. Well, luckily gets that back. That was for Juzang. Bernard. Shot won't count. He was fouled on the floor. That is team foul number five on UNC. Caleb Love picks up his second. Now Mick Cronin had called Juzang's number out to come up for a screen for a shot in the middle of the floor. They snuffed that out though. Well defended by North Carolina. Get it in. Juzang. Plenty of time on the shot clock. One on one with Black. Juzang fires. No good. Rebound. Bernard. Little body bump, gets the bounce on the interior. That's because they know where the shot's coming from. They anticipate that Juzang is going to take that shot in that set because they called his number out. It allows them to have at least three guys on the offensive glass. North Carolina has posted 16 straight wins against the Pac-12 Conference. UCLA up by one, 3.27 to go. No mismatch here with Small versus a 6-7 guy. Davis against Jaquez. Cross, kick, jumper, black. Too strong. Baycott gathers. It's a battle. Tie up. Along with Riley, and Jaquez steps in between. That's all right. Everything aggressive. And possession arrow goes to North Carolina. Tar Heels will have it when we return. North Carolina, UCLA, so much history. Hall of Famers abound in this series. Another chapter tonight. In just two weeks, we head to the incomparable atmosphere at Augusta National, a tradition unlike any other. The Masters this April on CBS. North Carolina with possession. Manic fires. Off the rim, no good. And the rebound grab by Jaquez. UCLA 62, North Carolina 61, three minutes to go. Tar Heels are 8 of 28 from three-point territory. Getting Bernard involved, too, with the basketball right now. Swing it. Campbell, 10 to shoot. Screen from Riley. Campbell uses it. Timer is winding down. Campbell, fake, and that foot slid for a travel. And Campbell knew exactly what the shot, the shot clock situation was also. He gets his shoulder by and then, yep, just can't nail it to the floor. Six UCLA turnovers, eight for North Carolina. It's really been a clean game throughout. This is their defensive unit on the floor for UCLA on this possession. Jalen Clark, Peyton Watson both in. Love, off. Rebound, knocked out of bounds, and it's off North Carolina. Yeah, they want to review that, but they can't because it's not a, two minutes or under. And here comes the offensive unit back. 
So the switching from Mick Cronin, offense, defense. Another look at this. I think it was Big yeah, I think it was too. 220 to play. One point lead for UCLA. Winner goes to the Elite Eight to play St. Peter's. I like this matchup here. Crossover. Wow. Rejected. Do not go in there on Baycott. Well, Baycott reacted in a hurry. UCLA, I thought, we're thinking, okay, we have the isolation we want. Setting him up with that right hand on his back, though. First block of the night for UNC. Trigger in for Riley. Circle. Campbell. Wow. Hits on the inside. He challenged the big. Manic for two. He threw his shoulders ahead of the play also. Good call coming out of bounds. 13 points. Six assists for Tiger Campbell. Three-point lead for UCLA. Under two minutes to go. Love. Off the mark. Baycott trying to save. What an effort. Fabulous effort. Extended possession. Love again. He's got it. A straightaway tray to tie this game at 64. I think the first three was a questionable shot, but he felt like it was going in. He's got nothing but confidence working down the stretch here. Caleb Love is in his bag tonight in Philly. Corner, Jaquez misses on a three ball. And it's rebounded by Davis. Just over a minute to go. Eight ties, 13 lead changes. Manic gives it up. Baycott swing. Love. Oh! Caleb Love connects! Love is all around for the Tar Heels. He can't hunt a shot down faster. He couldn't get up to the offense, and then Roy Williams really loves it. Jimmy, you can sleep in tomorrow, but then wake up because the first two slots on the final four will be filled on TBS. It all starts with the Nissan NCAA tip-off, 5 p.m. Eastern. How long do you think I sleep? <laughs> well, this might be a late one. It could be. So here's a terrific save. He just tosses it in the air. And look at Love. He can't wait to get a shot off. He's just in a zone finishing that one off. And same thing could be said right here. One dribble, why not? Let her rip. Good results. 58.2 on the clock. Caleb Love has scored 25 in the second half. North Carolina up by three. Drop it in. Hawkes against Manic. The back in. Comes up short. Hawkes has missed a pair. Got to go into a fouling mode right now. 38 seconds left. UCLA not looking to foul. Yep. Nick Cronin yeah. told his team, play defense here. It's a one possession game. 15 second difference. Shot clock to game clock. High screen, Baycott. He's in a lot of time, though. Davis, five to shoot. Davis, drive. Rims out, tipped home. Baycott gets in there for the clutch deuce. 15.5 to play, and North Carolina has got a cushion. I know that Carolina's a great free throw shooting team, though, I, and I would have traded in the foul just then for the time that drifted off the clock because now you're down to 15-5 in a two-possession ball game with a terrific tip on the glass. North Carolina, 69, UCLA, 64. North Carolina can taste it. But watch the way this ball just hangs and hangs again. Great work on the offensive glass by Baycott. This team has come together. Roy Williams has said it's been much tougher in that seat than the one he was used to. Campbell goes to the rim and scores quickly with 9.6 and a timeout called. Back to a one possession game. North Carolina leads by three. Tiger pedal to the metal all the way to the rim. Good smarts. He doesn't take up a whole lot of time off the clock. Finishes it off with the layup. And now UCLA goes into their fouling mode and hope a good free throw shooting team, a very good free throw shooting team, I should say, gives them a chance to go down the other end. 
after all the games are over, Ernie Johnson, Seth Davis, Rex Chapman, Candace Parker, Baylor head coach Scott Drew, they've got the highlights and analysis on Inside March Madness, presented by Buick, only on TBS. North Carolina, 19th in the country at 77% from the free throw line. Black is 88%, Love is 87%, Davis is 80%. Not too shabby. Philadelphia coaching legend Fran Dumphy next to Roy Williams watching this game. St. Peter's paying attention as well. They'll play the winner of North Carolina and UCLA. Two great basketball oh, minds having fabulous. a chat. Yep. Jimmy, you think back. North Carolina went into Duke. All of the attention was on Coach K and his last game at home. And North Carolina took the air out of the building, and they haven't stopped. They're going to try to get him to go towards the corner so you can trap. Black gets it in. And Love is fouled. So Carolina did not bait on that, which is good coaching from the sideline from Hubert Davis. Don't bury yourself in the corner because everybody wants you to go towards the corner. Caleb Love can make this a two-possession game with 7.8 on the clock. Seventh team foul. So one and one here for the sophomore from St. Louis, Missouri. First time to the line tonight. And if he misses this two with a three-point game, Hubert David believes in fouling in the backcourt. He has been a love machine. 70 to 66, North Carolina. 29 points. He can make this a five-point game, and does. Five seconds. Campbell gives it up. Hakez hoists off the mark. Rebounded by North Carolina. And that's it. An improbable run to the Elite Eight for this legendary program. There may be a foul called here. Let's see what the officials do. They're going over to the scorer's table just to double check. North Carolina defeats UCLA 71 to 66. And the eighth seed in the East has advanced in this topsy-turvy month of March. If there's a foul call, it'll just be window oh, yeah, dressing at this all, point. That's exactly what it'll be, but I think they called a foul on that rebound on the left side of the floor. Officials are going to take a look before it becomes official here in Philadelphia. So what? It's going to be on the left side. The kickoff and then the foul right there. Okay, that's what it is. Point four on the clock. They will shoot a one and one. And it's going to be Davis by himself. Now UCLA will come over around the lane and just a matter of time trickling away and this one being officially over. So we'll get a double celebration. They get to do it twice. twice. Davis pads the numbers. 72-66. For UCLA trying to make a return trip to the final four, they will come up short. And fall in the Sweet 16. Hubert Davis's family. It's over. North Carolina has pulled it off. The Tar Heels once again going to the Elite Eight. They knock off UCLA 73-66. That's your final in Philly. This was a North Carolina team that looked dead to rights against Baylor when they were up by 25 and allowed that lead to evaporate. They won the game in overtime somehow, and look where they are headed. A meeting with St. Peter's 
in the Elite Eight Sunday. North Carolina in their 52nd NCAA tournament. Six-time national champions. Last one they won was 2017 behind the offensive prowess of Caleb Love. They get to the finish line against UCLA. Roy Williams from a legendary coach to a coach that is headed to the Elite Eight. Hubert Davis is with Jamie. Coach, I got to steal Ian Eagle's lines. Love is all around. All you need is love, a love machine. Did this guy just write his own lyrical legend here tonight? Well, he's been fantastic all season, not just tonight. One of the things that I love about Caleb is his confidence and his competitive nature. He always wants to be in big time moments and big, big time plays. And he did that tonight. At the end of the day, especially in the NCAA tournament, you just need guys to step up. It has nothing to do about coaching. It's all about players. And Caleb Love was absolutely fantastic. I'm so proud of him. Congratulations, Coach. I'll talk to Caleb. Man, that was a tough one. Coach and I talked at halftime about how badly you guys needed a second effort. Is that what was? Is, is that what you guys talked about? Is that what was done down the stretch? For sure. You know, uh, it wasn't going for us on the offensive end in the first half, and you know, we just had to find our niche. Uh, and they was getting a lot of things offensively, and then we had to stop on the uh, defensive end. So, uh, you know, we just buckled down our defense, and then we came out on top. This team had its ups and downs all season long, but what got you here? What got you to the Elite Eight? Just our, our hard work and, and, and like, like Coach said, our confidence. You know, uh, coming down the stretch this season, everybody was doubting us. Everybody was saying that we weren't this, we weren't that. And, no, uh, we wanted to prove everybody wrong. And so now we're here, and I'm just blessed to be here. And you're playing the Peacocks on Sunday. We'll see you then. Thank you. All right, Jamie. Tremendous performance from Caleb Love. And North Carolina in a season where they got drilled by double digits. And there were people that thought at one point they were on the bubble yeah. and had to get it rolling at the end of the ACC season growing, to make the NCAA yeah, tournament. Growing pains, and as Hubert Davis said, it wasn't one leader, it was everybody coming together. In Philadelphia, love is in the air. TBS right now has Miami and Iowa State. For Jim Spinarco, Jamie Erdahl, Gene Steratore, Ian Eagle saying so long from the city of brotherly love. We'll send you to our studio coming up after these messages. North Carolina, St. Peter's in the Elite Eight.